how to use full body tracking in VR for free. So two methods, one is just using your phone and the other one is using PC VR using your PC. So first method, using your phone. For this method, we're going to be using an app called Visio. There are other apps like Drivers for VR, but those are premium paid and Visio is totally free for now. So we're using that one. So make sure your Quest and your phone and all your devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. So first set up your phone so you can see your whole body. Download an app called Viso, V-I-S-O. Press no for headset connected to PC. And then pick your correct height. Don't lie about this. And then press connect. So now it'll say connecting. Now go to your Quest. Download the Viso app. So first launch Viso. Download it. Then make sure your phone is already connecting. And then press connect. You can see my phone is here. Press confirm. Okay, and then launch VR chat. Okay. Go in front of the mirror. Okay, and then hold B, which is the settings button. Press options. Press OSC. And then make sure it's enabled. Okay, then press options again. Press calibrate FPT. So now put your controllers where your hands are. And make sure your legs are standing right where it's supposed to stand to. You can see the circles, that's where your tracking marker is. Okay, press trigger and you're done. Now you're calibrated. Full body tracking. You can sit down too. And cross your legs. Stand up. You can turn around. See, you're still tracking my legs. You can jump. Crouch. Super simple. And the second method, using PC VR. Okay, so first thing you want to do is download MediaPipe. The link is in the description. Click on the latest release. Download the zip. And then extract the zip. And then first you want to install the drivers. So click on the driver files. Click install driver. Okay, once you're done, click on start media post.bat. So if you're using a webcam, just put zero. If you're using a phone, launch IP webcam first. For Android, you can use IP webcam. Just search for it on the Google Play Store and press install on your phone. If you're using iOS, you can use Droid webcam. Although I haven't personally tested this, feel free to test a few different IP webcams on iOS for yourself and see which one works. So put your phone or your webcam in a place where you can see your whole body. Make sure the lighting is good. And then launch IP webcam if you're using your Android phone. Go to video preferences. And make sure your resolution matches the one on your computer. So for me, it's 640 by 480. You can check it out later on your, check it out later in your PC and see. And then just hit start server on the bottom. So from here, go to the IP address you see on the top and key this into your PC. Make sure at the end of your IP address to key in 8080 if it's 8080 and then slash video. Don't forget to type in video, that's very important. You've keyed all this in, launch Steam VR, and then press save and continue. So you can see now you're starting to track yourself. So press recalibrate and it automatically recalibrates your body for you. And you should be good to go. Go back into Steam VR and take a look. You should have trackers on your feet and your waist. Now launch the game and start playing. So every game has a different method of calibration. For VR chat, for example, bring up the menu and press recalibrate tool. And then just T pose and put your arms where you want your arms to be and click the trigger. Super easy calibration. Another example is Blade and Sorcery. So you're gonna hit auto trackers and then place your feet on the markers on the floor. One more example is Dragon Fist VR. You hit on full body tracker and then you place your feet on where your left foot, right foot, the trackers are. And then you can readjust everything manually. So different games have different methods of recalibration. You have to check each game differently. 